So far, we've looked at the equations for the Newton-Coates formulas uh, and, and where they come from. We've looked at the trapezoid rule and the, um, the, the trapezoid rule, the Simpsons one-third, Simpsons one-third, you can see the one-third right there, the Simpsons three-eighths, and, and Boole's rule. So we've come up with those formulas. We've looked at those a little bit, but what we haven't looked at is the truncation error. The truncation error for each of these is, is really interesting. So if we look at the trapezoid rule, we see that the error is proportional to the second derivative, well, h cubed times the second derivative. Well, that's interesting. Now let's look at what the um, let's look at what the error is for Simpson one third rule. It's it's proportional to h fifth times the f uh, f fourth derivative. Okay, so. Okay, fine. What about Simpson three eighths rule? Now you would you would expect Simpson three eighths rule. Just if no one told you, you would probably expect Simpson three eighths rule to be more accurate. But if you look here, it's really not. It's it's on the same order. So we have h to the fifth, f to the fourth. Um, that's the fourth is the fourth derivative of c. So we, we, our order uh, our the the error is essentially. Um, comparable for the Simpson one-third rule and for the Simpson three-eight rule. So you might ask, why would I ever? Uh, it does get better though, so I can point out for Boole's rule, it, it does get better. Uh, but then we've got sort of a lot of computation there. And, and but um, you might ask then, why would we ever use Simpson three-eighths rule instead of Simpson one-third rule? Well, uh, in general, we don't. Uh, we would prefer. A Simpson one-third rule over Simpson three-eighths rule because with Simpson one-third rule we get the same accuracy basically with one fewer points with only three points and we don't even need the fourth point and so uh, we we'll typically prefer that but then you might ask well then what under what conditions might you do uh, Simpson might you use Simpson one-third rule um, instead of, or excuse me under what conditions might you use Simpson three-eighths rule instead of Simpson one th one-third rule well if you'll think back when you're doing the composite, uh, when you're doing a, a composite rule, when you're, when you're combining either, when you do, for example, the composite Simpson one-third rule, and you're putting together all these, all these, um, all these sections, and each one's then got to have, got to have three points, and then the next one's going to have three points, so it'll be two more. Well, that's all fine and dandy when you approximate all these integrals that way, but what happens if, for example, we've got only one point left over? Okay, now what we could do is we could just do a trapezoid rule there and away we go, but the error for the trapezoid rule is higher error, okay, than, than this. These are the same as each other. So, um, higher than that. Okay, so just, just to clarify what we're talking about. Okay, then, um, then what would we do? Well, so for these last four points, instead of using uh, Simpson one-third rule and the trapezoid rule, you would you then use uh, Simpson three-eighths rule because the number of points didn't come out right. So that's one instance where you'd still use Simpson three-eighths rule. So it's not not garbage, it's not worthless, uh, it still is useful, but in general, then you can see why we would prefer the lower the lower order formula of these pairs. And this is what happens as you creep up, they go in pairs where the, the pair of two equations this and then the next the next one up, and I think they show that in the book, uh, have a comparable error, and then the next two have comparable error, and, and so, and, and that's the way it goes, but you don't want to fit too high of order ones because then you have an overfitting problem, which we've talked about before. So that's just a little comment then on the truncation error and how it influences which Newton-Coates formula we might choose and when.